Ladies and gentlemen, it's Monday Mail Call. for a Monday mail call. What we have here today is an unboxing from <clears throat> Marvin at Great American Survival. I recently won his subscriber giveaway and what was he giving away? He was giving away an Alpha Outpost Predator box. Let's get right into this and see what we can do with it. Man, Marvin, you put enough tape on here to close up the hole in the side of the coal. Good thing I watched when you opened it, so I knew how to open it this time around. Oh, I see you found me one of the green patches. Oh, what have we got here? Now, let's see here. Of course, right on top, the warning that you showed. And the Dakota line. And the comic book. Let's take a look at the comic book first, huh? Well, it's more than a comic book. Packing list. Okay. Detailed guide to, on traps and snares. You didn't show that on your video, Marvin. Recommended items. Well, I don't think this is the book that they were talking about. This is the comic that he showed in his giveaway. Because there's almost nothing here about trapping in this book. So this can't be the trapping and snaring book. Well, what do we got here? Snare instructions. Basic instructions from Mark. Well, I certainly hope this isn't what they meant by a book. This is a pamphlet. We'll have to see if there's a book down in here. Oh, yes. This is the one that uh, surprised me to see in here. This is the Sog Spirit. I was actually looking at this in the store a while back here. And one thing, you were talking about cutting a stick in the woods. Well, Marvin, I think I got an answer to that that's even better. Excuse me, pussycat. Come here. Come here. This is one of our cats. This is Lily. Oh, she's such a chubbo sausage ball. Oh, cow. Oh, Lily. Yeah. Oh, such a needy kitty. Needs attention. Needs attention. Needs attention. Come out and do figure eights around my legs, huh? Purr, 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 purr box. Okay. Down you go. Lily is a stumptail Manx, by the way. Here we go, Marvin. Uh, this was going to be one of my uh, walking poles. I had plans of putting a um, cane boot on the threads here so that I could use it for a walking stick in the woods. What this was is a handle for a broom. And the broom head went to junk, so I got rid of it. The interesting point is this is not a regular wooden broom handle. This is a steel broom handle. And when we take Broomhilda's stick, it's got the perfect threads to thread right in to the spirit head. And now you've got a proper throwing spear, full size. I went and dug this out when I realized I'd won the box. Hey, 
Anywho. Grab a bag so I can contain some of this packing material so that it doesn't make a mess. Oh my. I'm going to be honest with you, Marvin, I have several quote-unquote body grip traps. This will be the first time I've ever owned a new one. This will be the three cable snares that Marvin showed us. Oh my, one more time through the loop. Okay, and I've used snares a great many times, and this is a bit of an odd bird. I always used uh, drill, um, drilled washers for these slider bits. Huh. Okay. May end up having to mod these because these don't slide very good. These things should slide down. Just touching them, they should slide down. Which tells me that these lockers were uh, not properly drilled. Oh boy. Okay. Well. But anyhow, there's the snares. We'll get back to this in a minute. Like I said, I've never owned one of these that was brand new. Used to have a pack full of them that I worked on a regular basis, and every one of them were bought used. So. I'm going to have to put a spring keeper on this. These little 110s, they don't come with a spring keeper. Just like that, boys and girls. That is a 110 set and ready to go. These are best used on oh, rabbit, squirrel, mink, and muskrat. Not much good for anything much larger than that. Just too small. Do you want to get raccoons? Well, if you happen to get a small raccoon into it, yeah, okay. But uh, larger coon, trap just isn't big enough to do the job. get the rest of this stuff box bagged up so that it doesn't create a mess. Okay.
Okay, let's take a look at that last item. And there is no book in here. So I have a question for the folks at uh, <clears throat> So I have a question for the folks at Alpha Outpost. Where's the book? be honest, I've never had one of these either, ever. One thing I can tell you from watching videos, there's about three or four variants of this going out in the Alpha Outposts boxes. Uh, one is a fixed blade neck style knife, and then there's at least one or two other colors. I mean, it's basically the same as this, but this back strap and this circle here are different colors. Uh, two or three other colors, something like that, but uh, otherwise it's basically the same. Yeah, well, only two things about this knife I'm not a big fan of. Never been a fan of jimping, that's just me, and I've never been a fan of liner locks. <clears throat> but we'll play with it for a while and let you know what I think of it later on. But for now, that's Monday Mail Call from Great American Survival. Peace out. By the way, don't forget to